We'll talk about 31 and 32 pump pass. Our action is going to be off our 31 32 dive. So let's, let's we'll call this 32. So line is stepping play side. Fullback is going to get a fake here and block. The quarterback is going to take his one step. After he gets the fake, he's going to take one, two more steps and get ready to throw the ball. This halfback is going to, for this play, normally what we do, if you remember, we usually carry out the option to that same side. So he is basically going to release and then come up here to fill in and block because his tight end is going out on a route. This tight end is going to take a step play side, block, 1001, and then he's just going to release right up the seam of the field. Uh, this guy over here, he's going to run what we would call a, um, what we would call basically like a post. The field goal post, or the field goal, uh, what he's going to do is he's going to release and then run straight at field goal post. Uh, so you know sometimes it may be a little bit of a steeper route, sometimes it may be a little more of a straightforward route. The reason we use the goal post is sometimes the quarterback can't always see this backside, but he always has contact and he can see the field goal post. So as he's scanning the field, if he has to and he has time, he can identify the post and then he'll be able to see the kid because the kid will be running straight at the field goal post. It just helps the quarterback a little bit. This guy is going to inside release like he always does, and he's just going to curl right across here. Our number one read is going to be this linebacker and this safety. This cornerback is going to be here. He's going to be occupied with him. When we do our play action pass, this linebacker should take a fill step. When he takes his fill step, and by this guy selling a, a run play, blocking 1001 and releasing, there's going to be an area right here between the backer and the safety that we will be able to complete this pass to. So fake the handoff, one, two steps, and then the throw is right here. All right, so we are reading this backer. If this linebacker, let's say he does not, say he just stays right here and runs with the tight end, well then obviously we can't throw it to him. Our, our second read would be looking for this guy running the drag. Because if this linebacker is occupied here with this, uh, if the tight end has this linebacker and this safety both occupied here watching him, that means there's going to be a zone right here that is open. The cornerbacks are usually going to have outside leverage, which means he'll be able to release to the inside, come up, and then come right here. So this wide receiver can push upfield, stop, and break in. If the linebacker and the safety both converge on the split end, then after he clears, after these three guys clear here, the under is going to be this, this split end right here, which is going to be the Z. X, Y, 1, 3, 4. All right, so our first read is the linebacker. If he drops back, then we need to look for the vacancy he left right here with the end. So that is going to be our 31. 32 pop pass. It's just a little play action, quick hitter uh, to take advantage and keep the defenses honest if we need to.